Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to highlight ourselves with the topic spectral transformations. Spectral transformation is important for adjusting the spectral information. It is important for helping the analysis of remote sensing images. It can also be helpful for further enhancing of the image information. In our final guide, we have the page showcasing two examples about the spectral transformation. Spectral transformation methods in orphans include uh, these functions, normalized difference on mix, RGB to SSB and SSB to RGB. So there are two topics inside the spectral transformation piece in orphans and guide. Uh, let's not forget uh, spectral transformation is a very uh, big and broad topic, uh, but we are trying to talk about them um, as much as possible, a uh, little about them. Uh, so the pan sharpening uh, is the improving of the visibility of the maze, uh, or to say the uh, visual quality of the maze. So we use the pan chromatic band and multispectral bands. So the multispectral bands are assisted by the panchromatic band to increase uh, their quality. So this creates uh, high resolution image. Uh, increasing in the image quality is resulted. And there is some increase in the color information as well. So the satellites are designed to include the uh, panchromatic band uh, to somewhat reduce the satellite costs as band information can be improved uh, by the use of other bands as well. So there are different methods uh, and models for pan sharpening. So these uh, few have been listed. So another topic is spectral unmixing. In a spectral unmix, uh, unmixing, we are literally unmixing the pixel information uh, to something called in members. Uh, these in members are the materials with unique wavelength bands, uh, and their spectral information is pure. Uh, the methods in, include uh, somewhat linear on, or non-linear ways, or to say there are multiple ways for doing this. Uh, also, the approach of doing the spectral on mixing can be supervised or unsupervised, uh, depending if we know the in-members or not. So uh, let us go through the codes. So these codes are from the Artman guides. So for pen sampling, we have the emis here. From that emis, the three bands, band four, three, and two are selected, converting uh, these bands into the different color space by dot RGB to SSV. After the conversion, we are including the band eight in the new emis. Uh, and converting back to RGB again. So we are selecting hue, saturation, and band eight. So this is the way of uh, using the uh, previously formed hue and saturation and selecting the band eight and converting the whole image to RGB again. And we can print the information uh, what those uh, in these contents, uh, even if we print them, uh, there is actually no difference uh, in the values. Uh, the difference is in the visual information. So we can run them. We can see what has been, uh, what's the difference between the two images. So there is, are no such differences in particular in the values. So we can see, um, so this is the RGB image 
the original image. So we can see here, um, it's little, uh, so this is the RGB image here we're seeing. Uh, and the second one of the second layer is the pan serpent image. So as soon as we, uh, as soon as we see the serpent image, uh, there is some changes. And uh, the change is in the distinction of the uh, image. So the image boundaries get this uh, get more distinct in the serpent image. So if we check here in the green area in particular, so there has been some uh, change or some more visibility in its in the boundary. So this is what the serpent image is doing. So uh, image serpent uh, image happening is uh, doing a lot better. So the other example is about spectral on mixing. So we select the bands from the image and uh, we have spectral in members. Uh, the way to know this in members is out of the out of our main topic here, and this here requires further understanding. Uh, so we have the function here dot on mix, and then we have added our spectral in members as the list, and uh, we can add that image as the layer. So if we run this, so it looks. Um, something like the uh, like the classified means. So spectral on mixing uh, is related to how or at what, uh, what much extent, what extent the uh, in members are present in that means. So um, this much in this video, I uh, personally hope to learn more in this topic of uh, spectral transformation. Um, if you were new to uh, these topics of uh, spectral transformations, hope this was helpful uh, for you at least some extent. Uh, so any comments are welcomed. So thank you for watching.